I have always said this, and I want you to listen carefully, that a fool can be prime minister or president of a country that has a structure functioning as a shield. Structures synchronously working together. Why am I saying this? You know, when you hear from the central bank and the president of the central bank of Nigeria, and um, you later hear something else from the minister of finance and budget and national planning, then you should know that there is a problem. The central bank of Nigeria has reacted to the statement of the minister of finance, Zenab Ahmed, claiming that our ministry has no knowledge about the redesigning of the Naira notes. Ahmed had faulted the process of the Apex Bank, which she described as ill-timed. The spokesperson of CBN, Osita Wanisobi, while reacting to the statement of the minister, said the Apex Bank remains a very thorough institution. He said the management of the CBN in line with provisions of Section 2B, Section 18A, and Section 19AB of the Central Bank Act 2007 are duly sought and obtained the approval of President Muhammad Buhari in writing to redesign, produce, release, and circulate new series of 200 Naira, 500 Naira, and 1,000 Naira banknotes. Now, what is the reason behind redesigning Naira notes? Um, they are going to spend a lot of money to produce money. That is what it is. Is that the solution to the, inf the inflation that is presently on now? It's In fact, um, a dollar to Naira, euro to Naira, it's going to 800 if not even more. It might end up to be a thousand naira to one dollar, a thousand naira to one euro. That's just what it is right now. We do understand that globally there, there are economic issues as a result of the COVID and some other problems. But the rate at which this is happening and the solution that the Central Bank of Nigeria believes is the way out is what I still do not understand. There was a time that uh, Soludo came up with these let us reduce the zeros behind our currency so as to make it appealing. But then we need to understand something in all of these microeconomics and international economics and all of that. What is your purchasing power? That is it. How much can you buy? That is what is important for us to take note of. What can you buy with this amount? Let's say 10 Naira with one zero. What can you buy with 10 Naira? These are questions that um, should be answered. These are what people want to know, not just them. You know what? Let us redesign. Let us take this off. Let us add this. Let us do this and that. No, people want to know more. People are interested in knowing more. Now, if you come up with new banknotes, spending more money, when there is lack, rather than putting, imputing that money into what will bring more, you said, no, the only solution is for us to print more. Um, you know, Buhari would definitely sign because of the kind of people around him and because he himself is not knowledgeable. To him, oh, this is MFLA, Central Bank Governor. They've sat down with the team and amongst themselves decided that before the end of 20, uh, 2022, you know, there are rain of terror is still going to come to an end. There's no possibility that Temefile will remain central bank governor. So, what is the last jackpot? Let us print 200, 500, and 1,000. Let us get approval from an ignorant president and his cartel. Let us print. Let us make money off this regime before it comes to an end. And the last is printing of uh, currency. Imagine. How is this going to reduce inflation even though they say when this is done it is to control or rather let us say paint paint you know when you just paint a structure that is in total decay you just to make people feel like oh let's give it face value let us just make people look at it from outside no 
it is not really going to do the job. It's not going to work. He called on Nigerians to support the new currency redesign project, adding that the process is in the interest of Nigerians. Wani Sobi claimed that some presses are holding significant sums of banknotes outside the vaults of commercial banks, which should not be encouraged by anyone who means well for Nigeria. Now, that is their excuse. They said there are certain people who have hoarded money. And if we redesign, then their money becomes useless. They will have to quickly start spending it. So that will bring a surge in Naira circulation in Nigeria. If they come up with this idea, we are going to print money, we are going to start, and they come up with samples and they begin the process, okay. But if they stop somehow, those people will pick again and begin to. So what? what how are we sure that the people will not start hoarding the new currency? They need to look into a better approach. If further stated that the currency management in Nigeria has faced several escalating challenges, which threaten the integrity of the currency, the CBN and the country, one is so be added that every top-rate central bank was committed to safeguarding the integrity of the local legal tender, the efficiency of its supply, as well as its efficacy in the conduct of monetary policy. Speaking on the timing of redesigning of the Naira note, one Nisobi disclosed that central bank had waited for 20 years to carry out this project. He added that the standard practice globally for CBN to redesign, produce and circulate new local legal tender every five to eight years yes um countries do redesign yes that is true they do redesign um want to fight again of course he has mentioned integrity to make sure that people who have um, found a way to redesign um to come up with a fake i'm sorry a fake um you know there are people who are producing real fake i will use that word real fake meaning if you look at it it's it's like 80 percent same quality they do this yes um, they produce it is 80 90 80 percent now you'll never know the difference it's very difficult to spot that kind so they say they are going to redesign and see if that will stop those from reproducing and the people that are hoarding money they say they are going to work on all of these things to make sure that they get themselves back well um there are a lot of things to look into and um, the spokesman noted that the process will help curb the incident of terrorism i am trying to understand how Kidnapping due to access of persons to large volume of money outside the banking system used as source of funds for ransom payment. Um, he urged Nigerians, irrespective of their status, to support the Naira redesign project as it is for the greater good of the economy. How is this going to add value to the economy? That's it. I believe that... Uh, um, several or different prostatas of the government they are supposed to do i don't even know if they brought any questionnaire for people to look into uh, is there any way they what, what are they what what is just to write letter to the president and that's it they've done their own homework and they feel like well it's it's a standard practice all over the world it could be a standard practice but is this applicable to the present condition in nigeria the economy and all of that how is this going to lift spending this amount of money how is it going to help how is it going to put value these are questions that a lot of people um, are asking um, and they want them to discuss this they want us to know they, they are supposed to tell us people want to know they are supposed to let us know what and what is it how is it going to have value to us how are we going to you know get anything from this that's it. So, guys, what are your own thoughts as regards this? It's a terrible one. I understand that the global, you know, the dollar is in control of, you know, that's the, the international transaction, both right and forth. If you want to buy it, you have to buy it in dollar. There are certain currencies that they've, you know, held onto and they say this is what it is. I think we need good brains that are not criminals who will sit down to, to reevaluate what is the way forward. Why is it that currencies in Africa? is always on the downside is always useless why is it that certain currencies are stronger what is behind it imf and the rest of all of these bodies that are in charge of this and that do we should we get into production more export is that a solution look at china they are into a lot of export production and all of that does that mean that china currency is higher or what, what, what is this what, what what is it about they, they have to sit down to look at a lot 
endure and finally break these shackles what are your thoughts do not forget to subscribe if you have not done so red notification icon